my friend wants to ask a question in public for on behalf of everybody. Is that okay? Is that okay with you? We don't know what the question is. You are taking your own risk. <laughs> Uh, my question is, on YouTube, I have heard few spiritual discourse given by you. And in those spiritual discourse, you are clearly saying, like if you go to certain astral planes, you can see all your thoughts are predetermined, all events are predetermined, and pretty much uh, this is a, like a great drama. It feels like we are choosing and selecting, but everything is predetermined. So this is, this is your opinion, and somehow I have, a, I have a tremendous faith in you. So my mind, after listening your statement for 24 hours, it goes in a bliss and completely stop all projection. So like I was feeling like everything is predetermined. That's what uh, I have heard, and it's done. So for 24 hours, I was in a bliss, and my mind was not thinking or was not worried about or anything, completely stopped. And same time, since childhood, I'm searching lots of logical information and, and curiously like, so I have seen the, I have heard recently, same time, the law of attraction and how if we are able to focus, suppose, like right now I see some kind of uh, frustration experience like traffic is blocking and I want to reach somewhere. If I change my attention, say no, I'm going to reach one time, I'm seeing I'm going to reach one time, then I'll be able to reach one time. So I tried this Friday morning when I was coming to see you. I supposed to leave by 9 or 9.30 so I can make it 10.30, but I left by 10 o'clock, my GPS is showing 11.20, my arrival time. If I come 11.20, then you will be appear here at 11. I'll be 20 minutes late. So with complete faith in existence, I practice the person who is saying in the law of attraction, I allow. I allow the present moment, and I trust each car which is blocking me, driving slowly. And I say, OK, let it go. It's perfectly fine. I'm going to reach on time. So I, I change my focus, and then somehow I take exit on this beach boulevard, whole seven miles straight, I drive in a green lights, one after another one, one after another one. No red light stop me. And I make it at 11 or two or somewhere, you are not here, and I came before you. And only red light stopped me, and when I say, oh, red light, how come seven mile and red light? And then suddenly turned green and that was the light where I supposed to make right. So I said, oh, this red light is telling me make right here. So like it was like I'm in a lap of existence and finally end up here. So now, should I keep trying to feel better? Because I know like these are the mind techniques <laughs> to feel better on this ground level. But you supposed to take me higher than this. So should I keep reading Law of Attraction and keep practicing and make my life better? Or just uh, I should throw this away and follow you? I will answer your microphone. <laughs> I'll use his mic. Is it still working? Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, keep on practicing Law of Attraction. Because when you go to the astral plane, you find it is all predicted there already. Also that you will use the Law of that you will use the law of attraction and it will work. It's all predicted already there. Nothing was new. That you got, got all green lights. When you go there, you find it was pre-written much earlier that you will get green lights and your mind will say, let me try this experiment. Now, should you try this experiment? Certainly it worked. Sometimes it may not. Don't get disheartened. M many times it will work. The law of attraction by these people who have written that book on on this power of law of attraction. They have themselves said, only if you have faith it will happen, will it happen. Only if you have no doubt, if you have a doubt it does not happen. They say in the book itself, they say in the video, in the tape also, you had faith, it will happen. 
and it happened. If you take the faith out, it will not happen. So what really accounted was, which is pre-written, that if you have faith and you do things, it will happen. It will happen to all of them, whoever takes faith and does it. Faith is a very powerful thing. If you have faith, the law of attraction works. You got a good experience. Keep it up. No, Thank you. No, no, no. The faith. You, you, if you are saying, huh. so, so that means, I'm the master. Like I can put my faith and make my way. If you have faith, yes. If you have faith, you are the master. Faith is the secret. We're talking about developing faith. If you have faith, you are the master. So, so. If anybody has faith, they are the masters. Full, unshakable faith makes you a master. But the, what happens is, this was a good exercise you had. You had a good experience you had. Because for this incident, you had faith. If you have faith in everything, you'll get everything you Remember, want. All, all my faith triggered after I heard on your YouTube saying, uh, Everything is predetermined. Your thoughts are predetermined. And once, once I hear that, that's like something click within me and everything starts. So somehow like I'm feeling I have decided to wind up all my projection of body, mind, everything and merge in you. That's, that's my faith. It will happen. Okay. If it's your faith, it will happen. And uh, now <laughs> I, I'm feeling like uh, I, I'll stop seeking further, further masters. Don't worry. Stop worrying, have faith, everything will happen. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a good experience. It's all experience, experiment in faith. And that's the most difficult thing to get. Because our mind comes in the way and creates a little doubt. It may not happen, and it doesn't happen. When you say it will happen, it will happen. When you say it may not happen, it does not happen. That's the whole thing. It's about faith. Faith has a great value. There were two kids who went out to a beach in, in Bombay, in India, to buy ice cream. One guy had a five rupees note, five rupees, rupees local currency, five rupees bill, which, cost, which will give two ice creams. When they went to the beach, on the way they found a man, a holy man, making sand castles, sand homes with sand. He was making such beautiful homes this one boy stopped to add the five bucks with him. He said, can I buy one of these? His friend said, we came for ice cream, not for buying sand. He said, but I like it so much. So he bought that for five bucks, and he t took a plywood and put that sand home and took it home. The other boy criticized him, cursed him. You wasted your time. We came for ice cream, and you bought sand. When he went back, this boy who was so critical had a dream. In the dream, he felt he was flying up in the sky. And he saw many homes there, all made up of light, all lit up. He said, I must be in heaven. And they were all beautiful homes. And then he saw one home exactly like the one that his friend had bought for five bucks. And he saw, when he went in front of that home, his friend's name written outside. He said, oh my God, he bought a house in heaven for five bucks? And he, and he woke up. And he woke up. And he ran to his friend. He said, can I buy that home you got yesterday for 10 bucks? He said, no, I'm not going to give it to you. You want to buy one, you go to the same man. So he went back to the beach and saw the holy man making our homes. He said, can I buy one of these homes? He said, sure. Have you got the price to pay? He said, yes. And he took out five bucks. Oh, the price is 5,000 bucks. What kind of inflation is this? <laughs> Yesterday it was five bucks, and today it is 5,000 bucks. He says, no, my child, it's not inflation. Your friend took it on faith. He had never seen it. You have seen it, and then you have come to buy it. There is a great value in faith. If you buy on faith, you get a big deal and a big transaction. Small story, but just emphasizes the power of faith. So here is an example that Nan says, that uh, all the lights turn green. It has happened to many of us. We may not be spoken here. It has happened to many of us that things have just worked fine, depending on the faith, when, especially when we have to go to a meeting like this, where we have to do something connected with spirituality. It happens. All indications. These are part of the coincidences of life. 
that I was talking about. The coincidences are part of the intuitive experiences inside. Coincidences outside, intuition inside, they match each other. Very often you'll see them matching each other. And then you are on the spiritual path and you're being guided properly. Thank you very much. God bless you.